Having looked at the ligaments, the next structure that we're interested in is the menisci. The sort of injury that David described in a football uh, game is typical of the mechanism of production of meniscal tears, particularly twisting injuries. And some aspects of his story were quite typical of a meniscal tear. The way to think about the menisci is to look at the joint line. They lie on the joint line, and in this window between the femoral condyle and the patellar tendon and the top of the tibia, there is a window into the joint where you can feel the edge of the menis lateral meniscus there and the medial meniscus here. Is it tender at all when I press you there? No. Or there? Just slight. Slight tenderness there. If I come round the back and poke up, yeah. th that is sore, is it? Yeah. And in there? Yeah. There's a suggestion of tenderness around the lateral meniscus. Another test you can do for meniscal pathology is the so-called McMurray's test, where you place your fingers on the joint to feel any vibrations or clunkings that you produce, and then very gently you flex the knee up and rotate the tibia in the flexed position, and having rotated it, then you extend it. Nothing abnormal felt on that occasion. Rotate it the other way. Again, nothing felt. Sometimes there's a definite jumping of the joint as the femoral condyle relocates over a meniscal tear, and that's a very hard sign of a meniscal tear. Finally, having thought about the ligaments, the presence of an effusion, and the menisci, the remaining structure to think about is the patella or to be more precise, the patellofemoral joint, which can give rise to a lot of pain, usually felt anteriorly, and often giving rise to a history of, of locking, although it isn't usually true locking. It doesn't jam up like when a meniscus uh, displaces, but it's so painful to move that the knee really freezes up and the patient will often describe it as locking. The best test for patella pathology is to compress the patella against the front of the femur and ask the patient if it reproduces the sort of pain that he's complaining about. Is that the sort of pain that you, you get, or is that a different discomfort? Uh, it's a different type of discomfort. Right. Can you brace the quad muscle? Relax. I'm pressing now uh, on the upper pole of the patella. Brace it again. That is often quite uncomfortable, yeah. but that's, a di again, a different discomfort, is it? Yeah, it's um, more of a, it's all the bones cut over. Yeah. Okay, so patella symptoms, uh, patella discomfort is not what he's complaining of. For completeness, one should also, with the patella, do what's called a patella apprehension test, which is important in people who have a history of subluxing patella, which is to push the patella laterally and medially, and if somebody has previously had a subluxation or a dislocation of the patella, that will make them very apprehensive. Uh, they will have the feeling that it's about to happen again. That in him is negative. So in this particular knee, we have no effusion, no particular quads wasting, but a suggestion of ligamentous laxity and a suggestion of tenderness around the lateral joint line.